In today's uproarious comedy story joke, we unravel a joke that's as amusing as a sitcom finale. This story isn't your average tale, it's a rib-tickling saga brimming with twists and turns that'll have you chuckling like a comedy special on Netflix. So settle in, get ready to laugh, and brace yourself for a humorous narrative that promises to keep you grinning from ear to ear. In a dusty corner of Nevada, nestled between the tumbleweeds of Eureka and the glowing lights of Tonopah, a trio of eager souls spotted a newspaper ad calling for miners. It was a call to adventure, a chance to turn dusty dreams into golden realities. With grit in their eyes and determination in their hearts, they packed their gear and hit the open road for their shot at mining glory. First up was a smooth-talking lad from Virginia City, known far and wide for his ability to spin a tail thicker than the pines in Tahoe. He swaggered into the interview room where a grizzled interviewer from Tonopah greeted him with a straight-shooting question. Ever worked in a mine? Absolutely. Our lad beamed confidently. I've spent my days digging deep in the mines around Eureka. The interviewer's brow furrowed, skepticism written across his face like graffiti on a ghost town wall. Eureka? Son, there's little more there than tumbleweeds and casinos. The mines, they're over in Tonopah. Crestfallen, our lad shuffled out of the room muttering to his mates. Note to self, Eureka ain't where the gold's at. Next in line was a sturdy fella from Elko, a man whose veins practically ran with desert sand and silver dust. You ever been underground? Queried the interviewer, eyes sharp as a knife in a poker game. You betcha. I've worked the shafts around Tonopah, the Elko man declared proudly. Impressive, nodded the interviewer, leaning in with a hint of intrigue. How deep did you go? With a glint in his eye, the Elko man replied, Oh, about 200 to 300 meters, I reckon. The interviewer's face darkened like a thundercloud over the Sierra Nevadas. Son, those mines plunge deeper than the Grand Canyon. You might want to recalibrate that claim. Disheartened, our Elko lad emerged from the interview room, shaking his head in disbelief. Remember, he cautioned his buddies. In Tonopah, they measure depths like they measure sunsets, long and deep. Last to strut into the room was a fella straight out of Goldfield, his grin as wide as Hoover Dam and a glimmer of hope shining brighter than Vegas lights. You ever dig for ore? Asked the interviewer a hint of curiosity dancing in his weathered eyes. Sure have. Spent my days in Tonopah, digging deep, two to three kilometers deep. The Goldfield man replied with a confidence that echoed through the room. The interviewer perked up, impressed by the bold claim. All right, last question. He said, leaning forward with a gleam of challenge. What type of headlamps did you use in the mine? The man scratched his head, considering his response carefully. A smile spread across his face as he chuckled softly. Well, sir, we don't need those we were strictly day shift kind of folk. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.